welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles and what a week it's been. I say that every week and it has been another good week. So if you firstly, if you haven't checked it out, go check out Bizarro's Pieces. I was on a live chat on Monday evening uh, with Tom from Bizarro's Pieces. Uh, Big C, huge wrestling Hasbro fan, a lot of knowledge. And then Theo from Slimehouse as well, who gave an exclusive kind of reveal of a new t-shirt he's brought out across uh, his line. A uh, brilliant t-shirt. I put a, put a picture up actually in the corner. So it's Food Fighters, only limited to 100. So it's a limited edition run. I have 100% ordered one. I'm a big fan of Theo's work. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what he brings out next. So definitely check out that live chat, but also check out uh, Slimehouse TV as well. Uh, some brilliant contents on there. So, on to what I've got for this video. The good news is, everything still looks set for the 12th, so uh, like I said in my last video, I am getting out to places on the 12th. Uh, so far going to Nerdbase and some other shops around the Essex area just to bring some content and to get out, see people again, but also get my toy fix, get some new bits and pieces that I can put into the background. Uh, apart from that, this video is a little bit different this week. So I have got a few pickups, but as now, I'm starting to kind of back away from buying bits and pieces online. I say that, no doubt I have another pile of goods coming next week. Uh, but I'm trying to lay off, get ready for the boot sale, so put some cash away, but get ready to go to some of the toy shops as well. Uh, so I'm not, my pickup isn't as toy heavy as what it's usually been. However, I have done a short, and when I say short, it's about eight minutes of a room tour of my brother's room. Uh, so, like I said to you guys, my brother also collects toys, he likes his retro memorabilia bits and pieces, uh, and he's got a much bigger loose uh, figure collection than what I've got. Obviously, I might have ones and twos, and I've got them in tubs, but he has his on display. And I was actually going around when I was doing it and really enjoyed some of the bits I saw there, and you've, you would have seen in my video some of the bits I've got for him as well. Uh, so, straight after the pickups, I literally roll into uh, that live tour of his room, and again, it's about eight minutes long, so uh, yeah, hope you enjoy that as well. But let's go into the pickups I picked up this week. So, firstly, and my brother's going to be saying, what the hell is that? So my brother gave me a few bits and pieces that I was going to use uh, as competition gifts. Seems a little bit bad that I'm doing this as competition gifts. However, uh, given the amount of time that went on on Tom's screen, uh, live stream on Monday, I didn't get the opportunity to do that. Uh, so some I've still got a bag of stuff that no doubt when I start doing some live chats myself that I'll give away as prizes but one of the things in there that my brother had and he said look if you want it you can keep it uh, I'd rather give it away but you can keep it and I've actually fallen in love with it is, is in terms of this it's only a little mini so it's a mini uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles little keyring of Raphael uh, I believe it's from the 90s let's look on the back let's look on the back can't see a date on here but yeah manufactured in New York as most of these things were back then. Uh, but yeah, really, nothing on the front is there, no. Nope. But yeah, really liking that. Definitely like that. And I know he got this from Sandown uh, Toy Fair many years ago. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna put that in my collection, so I'm gonna have that. Uh, but yeah, again, I've got like a box of little giveaways that I'll be giving away, maybe when I hit a certain point on the channel, or maybe when I start doing live chat. So, and there's some big prizes as well. And I'm not trying to get people hyped up, but we have got like a, so, I'm definitely, definitely, once I get going and maybe hit a special number, I've got a Hero Quest to give away. I've got a PlayStation 1 to give away with a couple of games. And then a pile of, like, books, uh, which seems like you've gone from some big prizes right down, but books in terms of annuals, Ghostbusters, He-Man, some Goosebump books, etc. So I'm just starting to get a little pile together in terms of things I'd give away. I've got kind of contents I'm going to do for these live chats, and I've got a list of guests I'm going to have that I'm just waiting to confirm. Then no doubt... I will start doing these live chats. And I think a lot of people will enjoy them because of the kind of, I'm going to have a couple of different things to what you currently see in live chats as well that make mine a little bit different. So yeah, definitely looking forward to doing that and uh, keep an eye out. No doubt I'll drop some advertisement across social media before I do those. But back to the pickup. So you've got that Raphael. Now, this, and I put this on my Twitter page already because this is a huge movie for me. And I, I have, so I used to watch this movie as a kid all the time my dad would just put it on like one of those movies you put on cartoon movies that you put on and then you just sit there mesmerized uh for hours and i just kept, always keep re-watching it i just loved the animation it was kind of like made out of clay plasticine uh but i loved i loved this before anything before it was before wallace and gromit as well uh but i ne i could never remember what the title of the film was or remember i could remember little fake bits about it and just by luck i stumbled across this on ebay 
and it's actually called, so I knew it was like Mark Twain. I knew it was about that, but I didn't know what the movie was called and I could have just searched that, but I wasn't 100% sure. But the movie was called Comic Quest. So I hope you guys can see that. Uh, and yeah, it was all made out of clay. Brilliant movie, I loved it. Uh, in terms of just going through different parts of history, explaining about Haley's Comet, ex uh, bits and pieces like that, and all the different machinery, technology they used in it. I loved this movie as a kid. And I believe it was definitely in the 80s, definitely in the 80s. I think I saw 1986 on this. Uh, but again, keeps handy in my glasses, but yeah. If you haven't seen this, which I didn't know as well, this is actually on YouTube to watch, so you can watch it for free, it's on there. I saved the movie to my uh, Scott's Comics and Collectibles movies, which other people put online, so I don't put any movies online, but I save them to that folder so other people can enjoy them. So there's loads of movies in there, and I've literally added Comic Quest in there. So if you want to flick through it quickly, and you can see what I'm on about, please go ahead and do that. There's other movies in there as well, like I've said in the past. I've got Attack of the Killer Tomatoes in there. I've got Freet. I've got uh, Fright Night 2, because Fright Night 2 hasn't been released on Blu-ray. And a lot of people, when I'm in the Fright Night Appreciation Club, because I'm a huge Fright Night fan, a lot of people which are like die-hard fans didn't necessarily realise there was a number two. Uh, but yeah, there is a number two and it's on there and it's been on YouTube for years. Uh, but I've also put a movie as well, which I believe is coming to Netflix, which I didn't know. It's called Lo uh, Love and Monsters, which come out during lockdown. I felt sorry for the movie because I think it's got a high budget. It's got a good cast as well. Uh, and it just come out during the pandemic and they just it just got leaked everywhere. So there's loads online, but I saved that in there. It's a decent movie to go back and watch. But I've put a lot of 80s, 90s movies in there that are not on DVD release uh, particularly or you just can't get them. Another one I'm after in terms of VHS, Stay Tuned. So if you know Stay Tuned from the 90s, it's a couple that buy a satellite dish. I think they get it a little bit on the slice, so a little bit like one of these pirates, but it comes to life and it's kind of owned by a, a devil kind of like network and you get dragged into each TV show into a different reality. Stay Tuned. People will know what I'm on about if you're kind of up to date with your 90s, late 80s VHS films, you'll know Stay Tuned. But I've been after that for a while as well. Uh, and I'm just waiting for that to come up at the right price. But yeah, Comic Quest, I've now got it. I'm really happy with that. Then another one, just this was a random buy. And yeah, I've kind of broken the box on this one already. So I've ripped it by accident when I've dropped it, which is gutting because uh, every single pack of stickers fell out of here as well. It took me ages to put them back in and ages to put the box back together in some kind of decent shape. But yeah, someone was selling on uh, one of the Facebook groups that I was in, just a pack of uh, boxes of Digimon stickers from the 90s. You know, I think they wanted £13. I thought £13 not bad to pay for a whole box of stickers. I'm going to have that, you know. We know what's happening with Pokemon at the moment. I'm not saying that everyone's going to run out and get Digimon. But for me, Pokemon obviously come out first. I believe Pokemon done a lot better. I loved Pokemon. This was something that was kind of on the side kind of in the shadows of, for, for me it was in the shadows of pokemon so digimon was there kind of had a similar kind of background to kind of how pokemon is how it all works more virtual reality in different worlds etc but i i love digimon it was i'd say it's a little bit more i want to say darker and a little bit more adulty than what pokemon is maybe uh, but for me it was always in the shadows but i loved it uh, some of the stuff is pretty hard to get and you have to pay quite a bit of money to get anything digimon related now so yeah, when I saw the stickers, I thought I'm going to have that. So I picked that up as well. Then, this this was another strange one. So obviously you guys know I'm on the hunt for I'm trying to complete my Bucky O'Hare line. Uh, obviously got nothing at the moment. I'm still still trying to complete that line. I will complete that line. I'm committed to complete that line. However, I'm just starting to go back now and pick up some of the comic related bits and pieces. I've got the graphic novels, but I haven't got some of the comics so, uh, from Continuity Comics. Uh, but so I've got the normal Bucky O'Hare line. I don't have the first appearance of Bucky, which was in Echo of Future Past. So I thought I'm going to go back and I'm going to hunt down some of the comics. So hopefully you can see this in here. The guy who put these up said, oh, there's slight little water stains on the front cover. I should have known with the price. The price was like £2 a comic. I thought for £2, I'm going to take the risk, but they've come. And guys, as you can see, can you see the like water marks on these? They're not, the, they're not the best. Look, it's readable. I'm not going to say that, but again, you can see the stains. I don't even know. I'm tempted to press these. I'm really tempted to press them. And I think I'm just going to take the gamble of having a go and press in. But I don't know if it's going to take out all the creases in it. Uh, but yeah, this one isn't too bad, to be fair. Issue, issue two. 
isn't as bad as issue one. And again, you know, the art. Again, you can see the creases, but I, I'm temp I'm going to press them. I'm going to get them pressed. Uh, and I want it'd be good for me to see because I can. You can see all the creases here. It'd be good just to see how good a, a decent press on these can get if they can get them out. And it would more than likely mean I would invest in a pressing machine going forward uh, to kind of do what similar people in the comic community do. They tend to, so I know a lot of resellers of comics, uh, rightly or wrongly, again, I, I don't know how I kind of feel on this, but I'm, it's something I would get into because I, I see when you press a comic, give it a clean, it definitely increases the value and it increases the grade, especially from a CGC point of view. Uh, so I think I'm going to give these to a friend of mine who does pressing, see how he gets on with them, if they're good. More than likely going to invest in the machine myself and start doing it myself because I do buy some low grade comics that can mostly do with a good press and clean uh, and no doubt increase the price and the kind of condition of the comic. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting project, but definitely happy I got these. First Bucky O'Hare, second Bucky O'Hare, I think first Willy as well in that one. So happy with those. I guess what come on to next in terms of another little retro pickup. Uh, so I saw on... Bizarro's pieces, going through the videos. I always watch Tom's stuff anyway. And uh, one of the pickups he had that just brought me back to my childhood were these cards. So a little bit like Top Trumps. I know some Top Trumps, especially the horror ones, go for quite big money. Uh, I've never come across the original horror ones. I always keep an eye, but never come across them. Uh, but he did put something that just brought me back to my childhood was you used to get cards which you were able to scratch out a little bit like top trunks, or get, top trump, sorry. So give you like their energy, speed, what their power was, and you'd have a little bit, a little bit like a scratch card where you scratch out and it, it's got a symbol underneath, which is what these cards would do. So the cards were called champions, and you used to get these. So you'd have monster wars, medal, medieval battles, and booster packs. So this is the monster war pack. Uh, I'm gutted it's not open because I really want to open these, but the kind of the collector in me, where I collect everything in pack, and I know it's battered, it is battered. He's telling me, don't open these, keep them, get another pack and open them up. But inside, you will get cards. So it contains 44 cards, power changing, warrior booster cards. Uh, but yes, I absolutely loved these cards. You can see it has got a little mark on it. I think I can get this off, and I think whoever owned it before has tried, and they've started to peel a little bit of the plastic. So I'm going to think about how I'm going to do this before I take it away. But yeah, you can see the, the packaging's a little... Well, it's battered, let's be fair. It's battered. Uh, but yeah, it's still, it still looks pretty solid. And the only reason why I don't want to open them currently is the amazing artwork that's on the front of some of the monsters and the warriors. Uh, so I'm happy to keep that as it is for now. But I really want to get to those cards because that's where the memories were from my childhood. But yes, definitely going to keep those. So I'm happy with those. And finally, what we've got. So I've had a few things posted to me. As you do, I had to pull out my pathetic uh, little safety knife that I use to open boxes. So I, see, I see a lot of American YouTubers, Rambo style knives, just opening these boxes, opening these envelopes. And I'm like, that looks pretty cool. And there's me with my standard kitchen knife. It's come from the drawer, it comes up to open these and then goes in the dishwasher. But yes, I've been sent uh, this from a fan, uh, Hamish. So... Uh, Al AI on Twitter who sent me the monster teddy before which is still sitting up there with my pet monster on top of the Sega lock-ons on top of the Patman fruit machine uh, random buy from lockdown when you're bored you end up just buying anything I ended up buying a bloody fruit machine uh, so I have a Patman fruit machine which is there it takes up a lot of space and it's got the teddies on top but yeah he sent me this and said look it's not much but I think you might appreciate it uh, and he said, look, if you want to open it on your video, you can open it. I said, I love surprises and I've never opened something on my video. So I'm going to open it and see what it is. And then I've got something else to open. But yeah, let's see how I get on. Hopefully I don't cut through anything. If it's, but yes. All right, let's leave that bit there now. Give this an open and see what it is. Oh, it's a Tesco's club card. No, it's in something else. Scott, love the channel, your friend, aka Hamish. Cheers, mate. Much appreciated. Let's see what's inside. Oh, let's get in there. Let's get in there. This way you gotta be really careful because it looks like it's a few paper bits and pieces in here. My knife skills are terrible, guys. I always say this. I'm you know, you don't want me to fight any zombies in an apocalypse or anything. I will be absolutely dreadful. I'm literally one of those guys. I'm more than likely to be dead in the first couple of days. 
is my opening skills or anything to go by of a knife. Oh, there's loads of bits and pieces in there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm loving this stuff. I know what it is already. It's like, oh, yes. Right, so this is like instructions, bits and pieces to toys. So I love this kind of stuff. And you'll see from my gaming bits and pieces, I always pick up empty cases, manuals, uh, instructions. And it looks like Hamish has sent me uh, little bits and pieces for Ninja Turtles bits and pieces. So when I find the toys or advertising, and I love this kind of stuff, it's the catalogue stuff. Uh, so this is, so this looks like it's come from the Ninja Turtle movie line. So I could tell that because that definitely is the uh, Ninja Turtles from the movie line. And I'm getting excited just opening this, but there's loads of different toys, and loads of different, it's all turtle toys, obviously, but loads of different turtles on the line. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun going through this. That's the geek in me, the nerd. But yes, you can see here, I think stuff like this even looks good framed. And if you watched uh, back to that live video I said I'd done with Tom, I was saying about massive, massive bits in people's collection now is food packaging, packaging from toys. People don't care too much. They No, let me rephrase that. People still care about the toys, but people want bits of the packaging as well. People are doing lovely displays of it, framing them up and having them as part of their collections. And this just goes with that. You can see here what I've been saying. This is only one piece. You can kind of see the catalog bits and pieces that were offer for Turtles. And look, the Mini Mutants, who remembers those? A little bit like we had the Mighty Maxes and these come out, I think, at the same time. But yeah, you got loads there. Some of these I don't even recognize, some of these mutation ones, but yeah, look at some of these. Ah, oh, I'm really chuffed with this. Uh, thanks a lot, Al. Uh, yeah, really chuffed. Yeah, look, how small are these cards? Look at these cards. Would have come with the figures. And again, the turtle instructions for the mini, ah, oh, for the mini city. So this is what I was just speaking about. So I've got the instructions here for one of the little mini mutant cities. I love this kind of stuff. I could be all day looking at this. Again, another little card. What's this one? Oh, it's the Toon Turtle Leonardo. I'm chuffed with this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And he's, he sent me some of the stickers as well, still on the... Oh, thanks a lot. I'm so appreciative of this stuff because, yeah, you're... oh, there's loads. You know I love it. You know I love this kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot. Look at all this. Look at this. All the different stickers that go on. Jeez. You know, most of these would have been stuck on walls or stuck on the toys. You can only present sewer sludge. Ah, oh, look at some of these stickers. And I know they're to the toys, but I'd, oh, I'd love this. There's more. There's more. Look at this one. There's another one here. I'm guessing are these to the little play sets? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, you didn't have to send me this. I feel like I'm going to have to send something back, mate, because there's loads. But yeah, more stickers here. I'm definitely going to sort him out with something. Oh, there's a Marvel one coming up as well. But yeah, another, cu another couple of these. This one feels a bit bigger as well. Oh, there's more little cards in there, that's why. Right. Little Donatello. What, what's this one? Instructions. Oh, I'm just a geek for this kind of stuff. You're going to have me in my element. I'm going to be looking at all this. Some more instructions there. I love all this stuff. And then this. Oh, yes. Oh, it's the Toy Biz. It's the Toy Biz X-Men. It's the Toy Biz little catalogue. So, yeah, look, look at this. Look, the figures. Some of the things. I can't believe you've got this sitting around. I would love. I love all this kind of stuff. You know I love the magazines. You would have seen this. I'm definitely going to spend some time going over this. Uh, oh yeah, no, thanks so much. Oh, there's a little, there's a little shredder. You put a little shredder in as well. So I've got a little shredder. That's cool. So I've got a little shredder with everything. And there's there's another pack of stickers. Krang, Bebop, and Splinter. Jesus, mate, you didn't have to send that. I much appreciate. I love all this kind of stuff. I will be. I just geek out over this kind of stuff. Uh, I've got a little box, similar bits and pieces that I picked up, like the, the joke books, the little joke books and the little black and white ones that used to come with the Ninja Turtles. But this stuff is awesome. It will go with that. Definitely love this as well. I'm definitely going to have a read of that. Thanks a lot, uh, Al, again. Uh, yeah, really appreciate it. And thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for the kind words. Uh, yeah, you really didn't have to do that. I'm definitely going to sort something out coming to you. I believe you said you were moving to me. So if you are, I'll wait till you've moved, then I'll definitely sort you out with something because, yeah, that's... 
yeah i'm humbled by that thanks a lot thanks a lot oh, i can't believe that some of those stickers are awesome and a little shredder and then finally guys yeah so oh i should have opened that last because i'm still excited i want to go through it all but yeah finally so i think it was uh oh what was it it's throwing me a little bit now i think it was was it kahoot well i'll put it i'll put it up in the corner there's a toy shop at the moment this stuff's thrown me off track uh maybe i don't do surprises on video anymore because i just want to go through this stuff so i'll put it i'll put it up in the corner there's a toy shop that's currently having a sale across most of its lines apologies i've forgotten the toy shop i've literally been thrown off by the kind mail pack i've got of all those bits and pieces uh which has made my day and mostly made the video to be fair uh, but yes, so I'll put the corner up. So I've got the little up. Right, let's go back to the beginning. There's a sale on a toy shop, uh, which I will put up in the corner. Check it out. I don't know how long it's on for. Uh, it was shared across Toy Division, which is a Facebook, uh, quality face, uh, Facebook group. Uh, I've gone through there and thought, oh, let me see what they've got. And they had one of the Black Series figures I've been trying to pick up for ages. I know it's quite, it's around, I think it's around a £50 figure. Uh, and I've wanted to just get it a little bit cheaper. I believe I paid, so I think I paid 23 pack, 23 or 26 pound for this figure, but I've wanted it. It's a quality figure. You would have seen a couple of weeks back that I picked up a, uh, from Toy Planet UK, I picked up a Luke Skywalker of the, I want to say Black Series. So I think it's the Black Series, but it's the, or it's the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. It's the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. I love the way them figures are made. Uh, Definitely more realistic than some of the figures I've seen that are currently coming out or have been coming out. So I picked up Luke Skywalker in his kind of flight gear. Uh, and I thought, right, actually, there's some other decent figures in this line that I want to get. And this is one of them. This is one of them. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Come on. Just throw that on the floor. Decent packages, be fair. Yes, here it is. Here it is. Come on. I love this figure. I love this figure. I've wanted this for so long. And I know it's been out for a while, but again, for the money I've seen it, this is like, I'm more, it's 23 or 26 pound. I will post it in the corner. Luke Skywalker with Yoda. Luke Skywalker with Yoda. Come on. And it is the uh, it is the, um, the Empress Strikes Back 40th anniversary. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'm not big into the Star Wars figures, but some of these figures just, Bring me back to when I first saw the movie and our iconic bits that just always stick in my head. And yeah, Emperor Strikes Back for me, what an iconic movie. Uh, and yeah, some of the characters that were coming out of that, like Yoda, the whole piece with Darth Vader and Luke at the end. Uh, Luke ha losing his hand, etc. Everything with Boba Fett. It's, it's an awesome movie. Uh, and some of the figures that are coming out now, like I've said, are just quality. And for me, this 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 is a quality figure. Obviously, that one that I've got over there is. Uh, but yeah, really happy with that. Really happy with that. And again, apologies, I can't remember the toy shop, but I will post it in the corner. Definitely go on, check out their sale because there's a lot of decent bits and pieces. So with all those pickups, and it gives me time to go through this great stuff that I've received in detail. Oh, I can't believe it. That's some decent, decent stuff. Uh, so thanks a lot guys now we're going to go into the room my brother's room tour that i've done literally eight minutes take a look i hope you enjoy it's a little bit different and something that i mostly start when i do my live chats i'm going to get people to give me a little bit of a you know five five to ten minute tour of their room if they if they want to uh, just to show a few of the bits and pieces before we go into the conversations make it a little bit more light-hearted etc uh, but yeah check out this video this is literally an eight minute clip of my brother's room tour so hope you enjoy it and then guys after that uh it's we're gonna end we're just gonna end i'm just gonna end it and go on to the uh the end intros whatever it is or the you know the ending where it's me driving off into the sunset in some like 3d car uh but yeah so hope you enjoyed the video uh please stay tuned for more and definitely hope you enjoy this last eight minute room tour take care let's do the room tour
gladiators. King Ping. loves the tracing.
Peace and peace and peace.